Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. As you can see, we just installed 10 panels. Each of these panels is weighted 450 watts. These panels they are bifacial panels. You can see that the roof is not that steep like this. It's almost flat, almost one inch with flat. On this kind of roof, you don't need to worry much about adding aluminum profile boots at the top and at the bottom. You can just put at the top and then get it out of the bottom. Then you can also try to add nails. That's how we install this panel. You can add nails under to hold it at the bottom. Then at the top, you can use your profiles. In order for you to save money for materials because the length of this profile, this interlock, costs a lot. If you don't have money for profile or interlock, you can just do one length, one full length, one side of the panel, and the other side, add nails at the bottom to hold the panel. You can see that the panels are firmly fixed. There's no wind on earth right now that can pull up this panel. Because no matter the direction it's coming from, there's no space that can allow the wind to pull it from the bottom. It's not possible. Okay, and again, about the connection of these panels. Because down there we are using a hybrid inverter of 6.2 kV, uh, 6.2 kVA. SMS products to be precise and that inverter has a PV voltage the maximum PV voltage is 500 volts for each of these panels is rated 450 watts and 40 volts because each of these panels is 40 volts if you multiply 40 by 10 that's about 400 volts so we are still not exceeding the 500 so we can also add extra to Add ah, extra so that's 40 plus so that's 80. It gives you 480. They have 12 panels down in the bodies. Decide to install 10 so as not to be close to the maximum PV voltage. We try our best possible not to be too close or too far away from the maximum. Let's be somewhere around 400 and 420 is okay. So that's why we have 10 panels installed. Yeah. How we install these panels? Connected all the panels in series. That first panel over there, the terminal at the end, it's the positive terminal, right? Positive terminal. The negative terminal is connected to the positive or this other one, second one. Same thing like that, like that, until this point. At this end, we now have negative. You can see this negative. This negative would also be connected to the positive of that one. If you check that one, you see it's positive. This is what we call series connection. Then this positive has negative, then negative is connected to the positive of that. Then at the end, there we have negative on this side, and we have positive on the other side. So that negative and the positive represents the output of these connections of these panels. Then we are going to connect our 10 mm cable to the positive and negative and bring it down. So the place to control room where the inverter is to be mounted. So that is how the installation was done. Very simple and easy. Easy to learn. And uh, so I just decided to update you about these connections and uh, what you can do to uh, when you have connections like this, the best way to connect them. So thank you very much for sticking around to this time. My name is Gideon. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more updates and more info about these kind of things. Solar panels, inverters, connections, electrical fixtures and all that. Please do well to subscribe and like my videos. Thank you very much. See you soon.